Hello, adventurers. Welcome back to Harvestella. We are back, and Arya is organizing her belongings. Oh, that's right. Last time we played, she was gearing up to leave. You going on a trip? Yeah, something like that. This may be the last time you and I ever see each other. It's been brief, but thank you. Going somewhere far? You could say that. You know that crystal you all call the sea slight? The secret behind what dragged me to this time has to be hiding there. So that's where I'm going. Because I need to find a way home. The art in this game is gorgeous. Ugh. Goodbye. Okay, so she's just up and leaving. Interesting. So maybe we should go talk to the doctor. I've already forgotten her name. But let's tell her that there's an update and take care of her crops. Harvest some wheat. Harvest some lettuce. Okay, can we... Onion, 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 onion. Let's see. We need to switch and water our onion, 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 onion. <laughs> can, can we plant anything else? Do I have... <laughs> that really got me. Okay. Do we have anything we can ship? We can ship some some wheat. We can ship some wild leaf. And lettuce. I accidentally ate one, but hey, that's okay. And some meat. And this is our storage box. I remember now. Okay. Can we go ahead and put some of this stuff away? Here we go. And the lumber. Why not? And then the return bell we want to keep in our inventory because uh, that can bring us back home. So we need to go into town to talk to the doctor about Arya's leaving. So pretty. Uh-oh. Middle-aged man. Whoa, hold on a second. It's our livelihood. Even if it's as dangerous as you say it is, we'll be lost without it. It may seem extreme, but it's for your own safety. Your mayor has already agreed it to be prudent. Mayor, you can't be serious. What's going on here? The Order is currently handling the abnormalities occurring in the areas surrounding the Sea Slight. And we cannot promise Leith won't be affected by the Autumn Sea Slight all the same. That's why we are... Stopping us from using the Monolite completely? What will we do in the meantime? What's going on? Ah, oh, Cress. Uh, come to see what the noise is about. Who are those people? You don't know. My guess is priests from the Seas Light Order. Just who do they think they are? Uh, of course, you must have no idea what the Order is. If the name wasn't already a dead giveaway, they're a religion that worships the Seas Light. Excuse me, Father. What is it? You say the area surrounding the Seas Light is changing, but how is it changing? That information is confidential to the Order. That being said, we have already witnessed casualties near the Winter Seas Light at the Order's stronghold. Did you say casualties? Yes, the situation is that severe. As you're already aware, a Lux Vein connects the Monolite to the Seas Light directly. To that end, we will be taking control of the Monolite until the cause of the changes can be ascertained. But how long could that take? I guess if it's a threat... I'd like to think... think I like to think things will go back to normal if we leave it alone for a little while. Then again, it's no laughing matter if the priests of the Order are getting injured. What with all the armor they wear. You should stay away from the Sea's Light in the meantime. But Arya... Who's Arya? Uh-huh. She what? That girl went to the Sea's Light alone? Hmm? What's all the commotion over- Oh, you don't need to get them involved. Uh, nothing. <laughs> we can't talk here. Come on, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, you don't. We don't need an extra party involved. So the girl went to the sea's light looking for something that'll explain why she's stuck in our time. There must be some connection. Didn't it start glowing the moment she landed in that crystal of her own? What is the sea's light exactly? I think the order knows, but I've never heard them go into detail about it. My understanding is that the sea's light are crystals of light found across the world in one of four colors, but I've never really put much thought into why they're here or what they do. I can say that they're essential to our way of life, 
Without the monolite, our lives here wouldn't be possible. What exactly does the monolite do, though? Thinking about it now, that also brings in a question why we live the way we do. A lot of questions I don't have the answers to. But that priest was wound pretty tight. Something bad must really be going down for the order to be up in arms. That girl, Arya, was it? She's not fully recovered. I don't know why, but her body is extremely fragile. A strong wind could knock her over. I can't believe she would run off like that, even after I told her she needed to take it easy. But I'm only a doctor. There's nothing I can do. If the Order can't even keep things under control, then what chance do I stand? Don't you go doing anything reckless, understand? You're still recovering, too. I've gotta go. See you later. Oh, you're doing the best you can. Hang in there. Hope Ari is okay. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna get to play as Arya? Are we gonna switch between our character and Arya? Or do we only play as, as this character? Oh! She leave her diary behind. She did! All you need to know is that this diary is something like a compass that'll help me get back to my own time. Why'd she leave it behind? Strange. Oh, Mayor's here. You're off to find that girl, are you? Cress already told me all about it. She's worried about her, too. I'm not here to stand in your way. What you do from here is up to you. But I'm reminded of a man that used to live here who missed his chance to save the life of another. It haunted him every day of his life. But that's a story for another day. This equipment used to belong to him. It's not seeing any use sitting around, so why don't you take it with you? Oh, so we're getting the gear from, from the mayor? Magic Swordsman Ring. Ooh. Equipping accessories provides strengthening effects specific to each accessory. You can equip these accessories from the main character detail screen under Party in the menu. If you want to get there quick, head north when you leave the village. That'll get you there in no time. Wow, no questions asked. He just gears us up. Chapter one, the one from beyond complete. Achievement unlocked, the adventure begins. Oh guys, I'm ready. Okay, go north to Hagen Canyon. Okay, so we've picked up her diary and we've got to figure out how to use the sword. Now, do I just leave my crops and everything? Like, do I just, <laughs> I like, I, I want this to be like real, real farm sim, you know, kind of situation. And I think this is going to be more adventure than anything else. All right, we are on our way towards the canyon. Picked up a little bit of things around the farm and it's time to start looking for Arya. I'm gonna get her diary back. Oh, this area is so pretty. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, so we definitely have enemies. Ooh, that's new, the whole darkness thing. Does that mean it's like super powered? Okay, we're getting closer and closer to the autumn seas light. Is that why things here are, like, in autumn colors? Awesome. Okay. Was there something I needed to do with this, uh, this ring that the, the mayor gave me? Select job equipment. Cannot change job. Okay. Ring. I need to do, I need to change accessories near a mono light. Is this a mono light? I, I am I am a little confused. This hasn't really been introduced. Well, let's continue on and hopefully it'll teach me. Uh-oh. The armored figure is kneeling on the ground. Uh-oh. That geist. To think he is willing to go to such lengths in his madness. Can't let him continue with his plan, but I'm not going to get far with my armor in this condition. I appear troubled. Help! Or at least offer to help. Hey! Huh, what do you want? You're offering to help? You don't know what I am, right? I don't care. And you're still willing to assist me? Suit yourself. As you can see, my armor has been damaged. It appears a piece of it was sent flying somewhere. I think I saw it land somewhere in that direction. Would you mind taking a look for me? That looks extremely painful, by the way. I'm, I'm assuming that they cannot move. Okay, I think I see the piece of armor over here, and we have a chest. 
Open that puppy. Got a return bell. Nice. Odd black component. Return it to the armored figure. All right. Hopefully replacing this piece allows them to stand and at least get to where they need to be. Ah, so you found it after all. Thank you. All good? Restored? Oh, you, you tall. You tall. For a moment there, I thought I was standing at death's door. Perhaps kneeling would be more apt. Your language still baffles me, what with its idioms and nonsense. Nonetheless, I appreciate your help. I will be sure to repay you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you are heading towards the sea's light. I'm looking for someone, yes. The one you're looking for, she must be that Abel girl who passed by here earlier. Abel? The name Abel confuses you? Uh, perhaps it's best I use the term human around you instead. I wasn't able to get a good look at her as she went by. My suit was in a state of disrepair after, after all. But the silhouette was definitely that of a human girl. She looked to be in something of a panic. It must have been Arya. So you're following her towards the sea's light. In that case, why don't we go together? I know humans look down upon my kind. We who you call the omens. But the environment up ahead has grown strange and I am injured. It would be difficult to proceed alone. Yeah, stick together! Still, you must have some reservations about joining an omen on your journey. Well, we know nothing about the omens, so... I don't really know what an omen is. <laughs> you have no knowledge of what we are. Interesting. You certainly are an oddity. Moving on. It is in our best interest to cooperate. We will travel together until we reach the Autumn Sea's Light. I suppose now is usually a time where you humans exchange names. Is that right? My name is Dianthus. And, oh, it sounds like a flower. And you are? I'm Rosalind. Nice to meet you. I have dedicated it to my memory. I like this character. Look at their shoes. They're like spikes. Dianthus joined your party. All right. Cool. Your party members attack autonomously during battle. If your member's health reaches zero, they will fall out of action, but they will automatically come back to battle after a while. Cool. So now we have some help. Now that we have the formalities out of the way, let us proceed. Hostile creatures prowl the area up ahead. It would serve you well to prepare yourself for battle. Get to the deepest point in Hegan Canyon. All right. Oh, look, Dianthus has a really cool staff that they're like controlling with like grav magic. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So let's look at our map. Uh, okay, that, that, I don't know what the repair point, interesting. So we have a repair point that's of the interest and- look unsettled. Could it be the effects of the sea's light? That was interesting. Can I, was, is, are there subtitles for that? Because that would be fantastic. It doesn't seem like I have an option for subtitles. I'm so sorry, guys. But that caught me off guard to, to hear voice acting. I don't know if that was like our quest log or if that was Dianthus. Press scroll button when close to an enemy to target them, making it easier to land attacks. Pressing it when multiple enemies are on screen, you can change the one that you're targeting. Okay, cool. Okay, so Dianthus does have voice line. Some some voice acting. How cool. End of battle. All clear. You Dianthus. I love I love her already. She's fantastic. Okay, I'm I don't want to run too much because I want to keep an eye out on my my stamina. I I had an Elden Ring moment, okay? Forgive me. If I see a tree, I want to climb it. <laughs> Looks like we're able to pick up lots of resources while we're out here too. You good? You good? Okay, I keep seeing her, the top of her staff, and it looks like an exclamation point above her head. <laughs> and I'm like, quest? <laughs> Is there a quest? Oh, okay, more monsters. Let the battle commence. Oh, don't hit me. Gloro gel, okay. I like that there's a health bar in front of the the character and at the top of the screen. That's fantastic. Place to fish. We don't have a fishing rod yet. Can we go up this way? Okay, this is the repair point. Ah. Looks like a ladder for us to get a little bit of a shortcut. So I'm assuming we can get that on the other way around and get that repaired. Okay, chest for us and an item of interest. 
Stellar wheat seeds. Heck yeah. What do we get? A beautiful, majestic waterfall. The mist spraying around it feels cool and refreshing. Yes, take a break. When you see a chance to take a break, you take a break. Oh, nice. Your health and stamina are replenished. That's awesome. Okay. So this is a nice spot to rejuvenate. I like it. Let's backtrack here and go past this repair point and down through here. I can see how we're opening the map. You can see, I like how, how there's kind of like the fog of war, but it's obvious which direction to go. Okay, we got some level one goblins. I don't think we've encountered these before. There goes one and two. Got some lumber for that. What's over this away? Another chest. Again, adventure is rewarded. Some carob seeds. I like that we're getting seeds and other goodies as we adventure. That's back to a repair point. We need to go this way. This is really, really cool. Okay, so we have another repair point here. What we got, Dianthus? So are these crystal pieces part? Yeah, okay, so this is the repair point. These crystal pieces part of the sea's light are trees. It's a broken ladder. Might be usable if repaired. What are you looking at over there? Think we could use this ladder? Fixing it might lead to a shortcut. A ladder, I see. If we repair it, this might serve as a shortcut. Think you can fix it? Hmm. I have analyzed its condition and believe it should not take much time to repair, nor any special equipment. I will teach you. Oh, yay! Fixing ladders. You can use them as shortcuts to visit a dungeon again. Fixing a ladder takes some time. Okay, can we go ahead and repair? Consumes an hour. Okay. It's 3.50 now, so it's 4.50. And our repair point is fixed. Thank you, Dianthus. All right. That's awesome. What'd we get here? A mushroom! It's big and red and a pleasant smell wafts over it. Eat it? Uh... Uh... Yes. It tastes more and more bitter the more you chew it. Seems like this one wasn't edible. Your stamina decreased! Uh... Uh... Okay. That's okay. We got the Chlorogel and the Zooey here. Got him. I wonder how full our inventory is getting. I think I'm going to want that bag upgrade that we saw in a pre in previous episode when we were live last. Level 2 Goblin. Here we go. Alright, Dianthus. Rate, your chances of survival are looking precarious. Looking precarious. Thanks, Dianthus. Get it. Oh, my backpack's full. Oh. Let's see. A little mushroom. Well, let's eat that because it has HP. Oh, it also refills Dianthus's health. Interesting. Secrets? Hi! You found a Canelu doll. Oh, what do they do? Does it tell me what it does? Maybe it's a key item and it's not in my little inventory. That's totally possible. Backpack's full. All right, that's all right. You feel sleepy. You feel something unusual up ahead. Yeah, let's try it. Maybe we'll find Arya. Ooh, really pretty waterfalls. Ruins, though. That structure. What is it doing in such a place? Perhaps? No, it defies reason. What's wrong with the building? It should not exist in this space. But there is little use in trying to explain why to a human. Oh. Oh. What is this? Do my eyes deceive me? Princess, I am on my way. 
Oh, it is a unicorn. What is the meaning of this? Neither of you are my princess. Nay, you are not but tricksters. What? We're not trying to trick you? Oh, the Helia, <laughs> the Hellion dares speak before my divine presence. Horned creature. Are your puny mortal eyes unable to see the magnoliousness? <laughs> that is my celestial vessel. Hmm? Does does it happen? <laughs> you mean the horn? <laughs> Impertinent buffoon! Do not mistake this for any ordinary horn. Oh, to mistake my pure princess with such savages! This might just be the gravest mistake of my life. If such a faux pas were to reach the palace walls, do keep this as a secret from the royal family, won't you? What a peculiar creature. I didn't know such beings could even exist. Ah, so the omen concedes there are still things in this world beyond their realm of understanding. Such abhorrently arrogant creatures. You would do well to learn from me a prime example of unparalleled humility. Oh, really? Well, uh... <laughs> Rosalind, let's move on. You have that girl to find, don't you? Wait just a moment. Do my ears deceive me now, or did you just say you were searching for a girl? Mayhap it was you scoundrels who swept my princess away. I don't know anything about a princess. Sorry. There's no use playing dim. My keen eyes have long seen through your nefarious little scheme. Now that I think on it, I have never before heard of a human and an omen joining the forces. How very suspicious. Quite dubious indeed. You will tell me where you have hidden my princess. Refuse, and I shall unleash the full force of my illimitable power. Witness me, you vociferous trolls. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, I'm not quite ready for a fight. Level unknown unicorn. Oh, ice. Icy. Okay, that was, that was, that was a good choice. I wish I had a health bar for Dianthus. Okay, get out of that AoE attack. Oh, Dianthus' health is right above mine. Oh. There we go. Got him. Defeat the unicorn. Achieved. Hmm, I must say that I am impressed. You forced my hand. I had no choice but to unleash my most dreadful final ability. Salbrarius Spear. Witness me. Okay, witnessing. Fully replenishes its health. Oh boy. Wahaha! Now it is as though you have. <laughs> this guy is just so full of himself. You have laid nearly a, nearly a scratch. Terrifying, no? Utterly stupefying. You are welcome to tremble in my presence. Now for a rematch, and this time you will tell me where my princess is being kept. Fail to do so, and I will heal my wounds again and again, as many times as is required. Uh, hold on a second. Let us, let us, yes, give us a moment to say our piece. We have honestly no idea who your princess is, peculiar creature. Peculiar creature, I am unicorn of the cryptids, you audacious cretin. Very well, unicorn, was it? Please listen to what we have to say. Rosalind, would you do the honors? Hmm. I am certain this Arya and my princess are not one and the same. Their names are different for a start. Please forgive my haste, although it was quite some coincidence that we should both be searching for someone. Shall we take them? It isn't really up to me. If you wish to travel with this cryptid, then I will not argue. Oh, you wish to join me in my search? I've only just arrived at this ravine myself, so I'm not well acquainted with the terrain. Yes, I see no harm, until I find my princess at least. But I will not fight by your side. I promise only ever to use my healing magic for the princess. I have no problem with that, and I'm not completely sure I trust it, anyway. Okay, so now we have a party of three. We've wasted enough time. Let's move on. Agreed. Okay, now we have a unicorn who will not help us in battle. <laughs> Interesting. Let's look at our map again. So we need to head this other direction. Aha. Past the waterfall. We pass out. Do I have a place to, like, return home? Are you gonna teach me how to use these things? What is Emotus Monolite doing here? Okay, so I was right. I was on the right track. Did Geist leave it here? Best not to look a gift horse in the mouth. 
what does it do? What it does is allow us to improve our search efficiency considerably. You can use this monolight to travel to another in a different location. I can see your eyes glazing over. Simply put, it will allow you to teleport. Oh, uh, there was one just like this at the entrance to the ravine. Uh, but you cannot use it until you register it. And to do that, you will need one of these. Oh, a modus magicite. Oh, you can warp between any registered modus, modus monolite on the same map. You can also return home. Gotcha. And save your progress. All right. You can use that stone to register a modus monolite and make them available for use. Register any monolite of this type that you happen across in your journey. All right. So we want to activate this. Cool. So they've got names of each one we can save at each. And I want to return home because it is actually 10, 10 p.m. And we want to rest. I don't want to risk passing out. And then we can return to the adventure. Level four. And shows how much money we made from shipping. It is now day seven. I'd like to take some time to get some stuff in the ground while we can. Ooh, is our our, our onion onions help? Yes, our onion onions are ready. I really want to get some animals and get these boulders cleared. I'm not sure if we have to have an upgrade to our hammer to do so, or if I just keep hitting them or, you know, something. All right, everything watered. Kind of want to go into lathe after shipping some stuff here, and this monolite is now active. I want to go into lathe. I want to go into lathe really quick and talk to the improvement folks there. And there's two shops, right? Do I want to activate this one as well? Activate. There we go. General store. Fishing knowledge. Okay, makes it possible to fish. We want that. Yes. Okay, we can now fish. Can we do the backpack? Yes. Awesome. So we gotta sell we gotta save up 10,000 grilla for the next backpack upgrade. Ooh, we can buy two different types of trees harvested repeatedly. Nice. Okay. You can fish at fishing points. Fishing takes time. Reel in a fish with the mouse. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. What did our bag, what's our bag look like now? Ooh, okay. A whole extra line. I like that. I like that a lot. Hi. Morning. Good morning. All right. Pro shades. Changes form of the coordinates to its owner's will. Vibrates from closest to close to mono light. Okay, so we need copper ore. Okay, so we need both Grilla and the materials. Cheers. To, br to bring to the smithy. Got you. So we have to have that stuff on us. Good to know. And then lastly, I wanted to check out the farm improvement store. Shall we try out fishing? Let's do it. Start fishing. Okay, so when the bobber goes underwater, we're supposed to click. Did I get something? Oh. All right, let me try again. Maybe I clicked it too soon. There. Yes, gazing carp. A fish with hard, rigid scales. Its beady eyes make it look like it's staring attentively at something in the distance. It's probably not, though. <laughs> cool. I okay, got an achievement. Nice catch. Hell awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Now. To the crafting guy who I said was a hottie last time. To me. Kitchen. Kitchen. That's what I wanted. Definitely want to save up 2000 for the kitchen counter. And then we have the smithy who will upgrade our tools. And of course he can do the pens for us. Please come again. Mm hmm. That's all the time I've got for this episode of Harvestella. Thank you so much for joining me. This one is, is interesting. I've never played a JRPG before. This is my first time playing one. And I was worried that this wasn't going to be enough farm sim for me, but now it seems like I have time every single day to put towards planting crops and doing a little bit of harvesting and picking up some materials. And I really like the party system so far. I love having people by my side to help with battles and stuff because that seems like it could get overwhelming very, very quickly. Don't forget to check out another video by me right here on the screen and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.